Why do one third of teenagers feel insecure about their body image? Why are 73% of teenage girls and 69% of teenage boys self-obsessed and self-conscious of the way they look? The answer is judgment. A few years ago, I felt doubtful because I was constantly comparing myself with my classmates, constantly wondering why they were more popular or more athletic and had more friends. But in reality, I was judging others. And as a result, I got depressed. I got lazy. I got fat, addicted to video games and junk food, and my self-esteem and mental health hit all time low. This is why you must learn how to stop judging others so you can learn how to stop judging yourself. This is why in this video, I also want to highlight four simple steps of how you can detach yourself from society and those who are very judgmental towards you. I spent the last month of my summer holidays volunteering at a summer camp to get those sweet volunteer out. However, during my time there, I interacted with a lot of kids and many of the kids were very judgmental of particularly the people around them. I'll give you a prime example of this. One of them came up to me and said, that person wears a lot of makeup and why did he care about their looks so much over their health? Now, although I did agree with them, I also wondered why they were being so judgmental, why they were oftentimes discouraging and talking about other people so negatively. However, it could have been the fact that they were insecure about their own looks. They were insecure the way they look. So they wondered why people cared so much about their looks in the first place. This is a prime example of how when you judge others, you tend to judge yourself because that kid judged another person for wearing makeup. They judged themselves for not looking good enough. The first step out of the four steps is to actually recognize that you are judging. To quit any bad habit, you must first recognize it. You must first admit to your wrongdoings and then do something about it. The reason that I was able to lose weight is because I admitted that I was fat, lazy, and unathletic, and I wanted to change that. So by admitting that I was fat, I was able to implement the steps needed in order to get more fit. And the same can be done with judgment. When I realized that I was judging people and comparing myself to other people and recognizing that it isn't healthy or great for me, that's when I was able to implement the rest of these steps in order to stop myself from judging others. Now, once you recognize this about yourself, let's move on to the second step. This is detaching yourself from society. Now, realistically, this is just using less social media apps. The average teenager spends over eight hours a day on their phone. And most of the time, it's social media. And when you're on social media, you see peers who are probably living better lives than you. This negatively impacts your self-esteem as you judge others online. Social media usage is why we often feel so insecure and so judgmental about ourselves and our own lives. This is why it's important to decrease your social media usage as by decreasing your social media usage, you are less likely to see other people living their best 10 out of 10 influencer lives. And by doing this, you are less likely to be judgmental and end up judging others and just judging yourself. Now the next step, step number three, is to focus on a purpose and a goal. Once you are able to recognize that you are judging others and then you are able to limit your social media usage, the next step is to focus your energy towards something else. Once you are able to stop judging other people, you need somewhere where that energy can go. And that is where finding a focus and a goal comes in. For me, this goal was weight loss and fitness. All I did was I obsessed over what I ate, how much I exercised, burning calories, and stuff like that. By obsessing over this singular goal, I was able to completely ignore judging others. I completely stopped judging others because I realized by focusing on this one and only goal, it didn't matter and I didn't really care at this point. By obsessing over my own goals, I worried less about the opinions of others and I worried less about the judgment of others. So find a goal and a purpose that you can focus on and you can obsess over, which leads me into my final point, which is recognizing how little the issue is. See, when you judge other people, you have to make a big fuss out of things. However, looking back, you might realize that some of these issues that you've judged other people of were the tiniest of details and they don't really matter on a grand scheme of things. I'll give you an example. When I was working at the summer camp with a bunch of kids, they made a big fuss out of little things. Like for example, if they're a little bit hungry, if their legs were tired for standing too long, these little things 
at the end of the day they don't really matter because you will eat lunch at some point you will sit down at some point sometimes kids make a big issue out of the smallest things to be fair i was the exact same i've oftentimes make a big fuss and issue out of the smallest details however as i grew older and i became less judgmental of the things around me because i implemented the three previous steps before i tend to realize that these things don't really matter so what i'm trying to say is that the judgment of others don't really matter see 90 percent of the things that other people have to say to you is just meaningless chatter or yapping realistically they're just jealous of your success or where you are in life so you don't really need to listen to them yes it is important to listen to other people for advice however think about the things that they're saying yes that person might be giving some helpful and useful advice but most of the time it is just jealousy envy and just self-comparison and judgment because when they're judging you, they're oftentimes judging themselves. So just ignore and keep focusing on your singular purpose. Tying back to step number three. Now to end off this video, the moral of the story is to stop judging other people and you will stop judging yourself. Stop wasting your time and energy judging others and focus on what truly matters in life. When you focus on yourself, you tend to realize how small and how insignificant some of the issues that you once were traumatized by really were. For the same way that you judge others, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Now, hopefully you've learned something and hopefully you've learned how to stop judging others so you stop judging yourself. Self-improvement is way more than just judging other people. So click on these videos right here to learn about more self-improvement tips. Click these videos here to see some of my day in the life vlogs and be sure to subscribe. I'm trying to 1,000 subscribers. Thank you for your time.